Hey guys, this is Miss Jacobson, and I'm here to give you the instructions for revising and editing your personal narrative. Our lesson goals are, I will revise my rough draft for clarity. That means I want it to be clear and easy to understand, and strong details. So I want to have really good details. I will edit my rough draft for spelling and grammar. Additionally, there's a video that I'm going to show in class. I can't record this video, but for more help on revising and what you do when you revise, make sure to watch this video that is also loaded into your Canvas. As you record today, you need to clearly label your personal narrative in the margin, that means on the side, with exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. So you're going to put a bracket, like that's that square parentheses, and show me this part is my exposition, this part is my rising action, this part is my climax, this part is my falling action, this part is my resolution. That'll help me see that you have all the parts of your story. Then you're going to make any changes you need. Again, you need to watch the video that I was talking about just a minute ago, but you're going to add words or details, remove words or details, or change words or details, whatever you need to do to make it both clear and detailed. Everything needs to make sense but you want a decent amount of detail so that your readers are engaged. Uh, it, if you haven't already finished rewriting Steel for your climax and rewriting that scene, you need to, because when you write your final copy, you're going to add that new version of your climax in the final copy. Then the last thing I want you to do is underline your physical ending to the story, circle your emotional ending. After that, you're going to go back. You need to do revising first because it wouldn't make sense to do a whole bunch of grammar and spelling changes if you're going to delete that whole sentence or change that sentence anyway. But once you're done, you're going to go, around, uh, go back and edit. So make sure every sentence ends with a period, exclamation point, or a question mark. Make sure you have a comma in front of your fanboys and compound sentences. Make sure you have quotation marks around all dialogue. So if somebody says it out loud, you need quotation marks. Make sure you don't have any run-ons. That's a sentence that goes on and on and on. It has more than one complete thought with no periods. Or fragments. That's a sentence that's not a complete thought, so it's actually not a sentence at all. Go and use dictionary.com or an in-class dictionary to check any spellings you're unsure of. And if you didn't use paragraphs, mark where each paragraph should start so that when you write your final copy, you can go back and add paragraphs. Again, you are both revising and editing today. The revising has to come before the editing because it doesn't make sense to go change details and rewrite sentences after you've already tweaked those sentences to be uh, spelled right and grammatically correct.